Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Okay, so today we will be talking about Portia's three-part commercial, Bravo special, Portia's having a baby. At least that's what Nene calls it. Nene calls Portia Williams' spinoff special on Bravo a commercial. Like the nerve of her, okay? I've been keeping up with this season, season 11 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. What about you? Have you guys been following Portia's story? So much has happened in Portia's life in just a season, in just a short amount of time. And while most loved ones and friends will be happy for Portia, it doesn't seem like Nene is very happy for Portia at all even though Portia calls her big sis I wouldn't call Nene a hater but she low-key being very petty so let's backtrack a little bit and give you a little history about season 11 season 11 is where we are first introduced to Dennis McKinley Portia's fiance she also shared on this season that she's pregnant and Dennis also proposed to her so as you can see a lot has happened to Portia in just a few months now, these last few episodes of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, I want to say maybe like the last four, have been on a thousand. They have been on fleek, honey. The drama has been too surreal. I really believe the very last few episodes of The Real Housewives of Atlanta are working in Portia's favor to give her a spinoff show for her upcoming wedding. But before we jump that far ahead... Portia did announce on her Instagram page she will get a spinoff show from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but it will be a baby special, not a wedding special. Let's get that crystal clear because Nene stated Bravo gave her 12 episodes for her wedding special. But this is not Portia's wedding special, Nene. This is a baby special. Two different things, girlfriend, okay? Anyway, maybe Bravo is trying to see how this will go before offering Portia the wedding special. Who knows? As many of us do know, Portia is engaged and pregnant, but not exactly in that order. Surprise, Dennis, with his birthday present. Let's take a look. Wow. <laughs> it's your birthday. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pregnant. Oh. Yo. <laughs> For real. Oh, bro. Look, man. Stop. Man, It was actually she found out she was pregnant, then Dennis and her got engaged, and then came the baby spinoff show from The Real Housewives of Atlanta titled The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia's Having a Baby, which is set to premiere this Sunday, April 28th on Bravo, so make sure you tune in or have your DVR set up to record. Okay, now that I got all of that out the way, y'all, let's jump right into this mess about Nene Collins' Portia spinoff show, A Commercial. Shout out to The Shade Room for posting these texts on their Instagram page because Portia and Nene no longer have pictures of these texts on their page because they deleted them. How convenient. So Nene starts off by sending a text to Portia and told Portia to go enjoy your one-time three-episode commercial. Portia responds and tells Nene, hi, you enjoy it too. Nene then says, I had 12 episodes and trust, I won't watch not one of yours. Too busy securing the bags, LOL. Now, as a Portia fan, I'm happy for sis, but I can't say Nene feels the same. Portia is supposed to be Nene's little sis, but it sounds like the big sis is hating on the little sis. There was a series of back and forth text messages between the two of them. But before I even saw those texts, there were people under Portia's Instagram page posting some negativity, saying the show was a commercial and saying Nene is going to be mad. My thing is, why can't we just be happy for people? Why can't Nene just be happy for her little sis? This is her season. Look at all she lost. She actually recovered more than what she lost when her and her ex Cordell divorced she had nothing she literally had to start over 
But you know how people say there is an underlying issue to make people act the way that they do. So I'm asking myself, like, what's the problem? For real, for real with Nene. What is the issue? And for whatever it's worth, I believe the problem started with Nene's by wig party and the closet scene. Portia is accusing Nene of pulling her by the belt to get Portia out of her closet, allegedly. Nene says that's not true. And on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, there's a small piece of audio where you hear Portia says, get me out of here, I'm scared. And then Marlo says she is pregnant. Nene says Portia went in the studio to record audio of Portia saying she is scared when Nene pulled the cameras out of her closet. Portia alleges that Nene pulled her by the belt out of her closet and this is what led to Portia saying she is scared. So I can understand why Nene is upset. If this is the reason because of the way that audio clip happened, it makes it seem like Nene tried to harm Portia and that can be very damaging to Nene. And like I said, I love Nene, but I do not like it when people can't celebrate my wins as much as they try to embrace me during my losses because they want the entire world to know what they did for me. And that's what Nene is trying to do. In those series of texts, Nene sent to Portia, she says, and don't forget who was by your side and saved your wake behind when you pulled Kenya off that sofa. Don't forget nobody fooled with you in saying Fran or in Spain but me. Say the truth because if I put my hands on you, you will know it. Keeping it 100. And y'all, this is so messy. I know Nene and Greg are dealing with Greg's health and cancer battles, and I get it. Nene is lashing out because her friends aren't there, but you can't expect for people to treat you like you treat them. I have learned in friendships and sisterhood that people don't always reciprocate the love you have shown them. You can't expect people to be as genuine as you and you have to love people for who they are. Sometimes people don't even know how to give the love and time you give. Sometimes they are so caught up in their world, they don't have the time to invest in yours. So you give what you can and hope for the best. Friendships aren't perfect and you do have to learn to love people for who they are if you want them in your life. Portia strikes me as the kind of friend that only likes to have a good time and brag about all her blessings. Nene strikes me as the kind of friend that is ride or die. You know, either she hot or cold or in and out. But both enjoy one another's company. That's what I have noticed. They both enjoy one another's company. So Nene needs to learn to treat Portia accordingly or learn that with Portia as my friend, I just can't trust or rely on her for certain things. Like I can't trust her with certain information and that she's going to give me what I need in order to help me to get through that situation. It's just a part of friendship, okay? So, woo, child, y'all, I'm done, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this was a lot to deal with and I saw myself in so many different aspects of this this build up between Portia and Nene but like I said you just have to know how to deal with people accordingly you can't be petty because your friend being petty right now okay you are my friend because I know you are my friend because I want to hang out with you not because you offer anything else to me but we both winning because we both enjoy each other when it is convenient, okay? And with that being said, y'all, let's pray. Father, I just got to pray right now for someone who is tired, someone who's exhausted, someone who's worn out. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, dear Lord, for filling them back up the way you're filling me back up. Dear Lord, I just speak life over their life. So many people in their life are speaking negativity and death and frustration and anxiety. But right now, I just take a minute to speak life. I speak life over their love life, life over their career, life over their dreams, life over their finances, dear Lord, life over their relationships, dear God. Anyone listening to this, I speak life over you right now. I proclaim God's blessings over you right now. And I am praying that God will deliver his very best to you. You are positive. You do have what it takes. You are talented. You can go further than you think. And I just want to offer a positive word that would resonate and take root in your spirit that would help cancel out all the negativity that's coming your way. I pray that that me speaking life over you would remind you that your life is valued and you are valuable. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let's talk about friendships down in the comment section. Do you have friends that make it hard to be friends with them? How do you treat a friend who doesn't reciprocate your genuineness? 
let's get the conversation started in the comment section below thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye